Welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. This is a 2021 Mercedes AMG A35. From perspective, you have the AMG Performance steering wheel, which is flat bottom. You also have touch controls on either side of this leather steering wheel with your cruise control options on this side right here. And also you have your touch controls right here, which control the ribbon at the front. You have your digital instrument cluster, 10.25 inches. Your center display, 10.25 inches for your MBUX system, which you can actually control using these touch options right here. You can see if I go left or right, you have some movement on that ribbon. Also right here, you have your media buttons. On this side, you have your telephone options, answering a call, declining a call. You have your volume control right here, voice activated systems. And also this home button controls your MBUX system. Now this is fully touch screen as well. Now let's go through some of the options on the MBUX system. You have your phone, navigation, radio, media, comfort, track, pace, performance, Mercedes, me, and apps, and settings. You have a ton of options inside the setting options. You have your vehicle assistance options. These are your driver packages. You have your vehicle options, automatic seat adjustment and seat belts, acoustic lock. You have uh, system options, which offers you designs and displays. If you go into that, you can change your design either from sport. And this is a sport look, or you can set it to super sport, which is a more AMG look. And you can see you have some AMG options which pull up right here on the digital instrument cluster. Let's take a look at the MBUX system through the driver's perspective. You have your assistance, then you have your phone, navigation, AMG performance, trip, radio, media, designs and displays and service. Inside the design and displays, you can change the configurations of your displays I love the Super Sport theme because that's the AMG theme. Another cool feature of this A35, you have a ton of metrics. Take a look at that. You have your temperature, you have your uh, sport mode options, your speed, your fuel economy, your parking brake, your battery, ton of options and your G-forces on the right hand side, ton of options that you can rely on for your car. Navigation, that's your navigation, which also shows up here. Let's go back to home press once again and to exit the menu you can also change the navigation to the center display right here or on the right hand side so you can see these radio buttons on the right hand side you can actually change those from g-forces up and down as you want to have your configurations on your MBUX system I have three circular air vents right here which are turbine looking and you have the black piano liqueur trim, which is also a fingerprint and scratch magnet. So you gotta be careful with that. Down here, two cup holders, NFC charging, USB-C ports inside here as well. And uh, you have a trackpad right here for your MBUX system. Dynamic select options are right here. I'm gonna press the ignition and I'm gonna show you the dynamic select options. Starting from the very top, you have a slippery mode, individual mode, comfort mode, sport mode, and a sport plus mode, which offers you different drive configurations for your car. Also, you have your quick access options, uh, media options right through here. You have a shortcut for your navigation right here. Press that. And that's your navigation right here, which you can get through this quick access option down here at the center console. Radio media right here, telephone on and off for your media as well as your volume control. This is actually very good quality material. Also offers you the haptic feedback that you'd get from a regular smartphone. You can feel that. This center knob is just to place your palm or your hand as you navigate the many options right here. Now, because you have a Sport Plus mode, you can actually configure your suspension through this button right here. Traction control off and manual mode is on the other side. 
So all good options on this A35. Now that's a brief look at the MBUX system on these very vibrant 10.25 inch displays. Driver's perspective, nothing feels cheap in here. Everything is within reach, very comfortable, premium, premium quality material. The paddle shifters, good quality behind this AMG Performance steering wheel. And I love this insignia, it says AMG right here and feels very solid. Anything which is missing here is pretty much the AMG drive unit, which has a sport knob right here on other AMG models. But I think that's a configurable option on this A35. Have your paddle shifters, your downshift on this side and your upshift on the other side. Both are actually very comfortable. All the material and the elements in here are very good quality. Nothing feels cheap. Your indicator operating. So everything is very, very fluid, very good quality. Upper dash is all leather wrapped. And actually this car does have the head up display right here. I'm not sure if you can see the the zero miles an hour right here, which is part of the head up display. I think you can see that. So you have that groove inside the dashboard for your head up display. All very good quality material. Down here you have your climate control systems. This car has a two-way uh, climate control system for your driver and passenger. These knobs are also good quality. You can add your temperature, lower your temperature. And I believe as you lower your temperature, your ambient lighting changes inside here. You can see the purple color as I lower the temperature. If I add the temperature, it's gonna turn red. So very vibrant colors. I think for a night drive, this is gonna be epic. On top of the upper dash, you do have your circular air vent right here. You also have another on the other side. And right on top of it, you have a speaker system. And it sounds pretty, pretty amazing. I cannot play any music because of copyright. You have uh, these piano keys almost uh, design on the climate control system options and buttons down here overall good quality material inside this a35 i would definitely recommend this car if you're looking to buy an a35 at the center here you have some storage also you have additional usb-c ports inside here and then up here you have your other assistance options you have lighting accessories so you have your reading lights you have your rear light, you have your main front light. This is your SOS button. And then you have your sunroof or panorama roof closing button up here. And uh, sun visors, good quality sun visors. You do have a light up here on the top the driver's sun visor also good quality you can put your business cards or anything you want to keep up here uh, lighting options up here and all your light controls are actually down here also within reach the parking brake the automatic light uh, this is your manual light if you want to just leave it on or you put it on auto you can see the black piano liquid trim up here and also this rubber material on the upper dash and that's pretty much it that's the look at the a35 2021 model uh, if you like this video make sure to hit subscribe leave a comment and uh, stay tuned for more mercedes and mercedes amg videos